Hi guys, welcome to Kristen Kelly TV. So today I'm gonna to be doing a haul. This is going to be a Victoria's Secrets haul. Yay! This is a Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale haul. And then also I have one thing from Starbucks, which is actually the first thing I've ever bought from Starbucks. So I wanted to show that to you guys too. Okay, so for the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale, oh, this bag is so heavy. Um, I wanted to get a few sweatshirts. Like that was my main thing, is that I was gonna get some sweatshirts and I was gonna get some sweatpants. I was like, oh my God, I love their sweatshirts and sweatpants, they're like loungewear stuff. I was like, gotta get that. But I went there and they didn't have any. And I also, <laughs> didn't have any bras like I don't own any bras I did own a bunch of bras at one point I mean like a vast array of maybe like 200 bras I own more bras than anyone ever would have needed however I sold all of those on Depop because a lot of them I was like the wrong size so they were just uncomfortable a lot of other ones like I just didn't like the style uh, so mainly I don't wear bras like right now I'm not wearing a bra I wear these tiny like silicone boob pads? Would you call them like a boob? I don't know. They're like these tiny little like silicone pads I put over my nipples. So if my nipples get hard, like you can't tell. So then it doesn't, so then I don't need a bra. So I don't really wear bras. But because I was at Victoria's Secrets and it was their semi-annual sale, so bras were like $20 that were normally like $80 or $60, I decided, hey, why not get measured for a bra and try it on? So I actually was the same measurement that I had been in Victoria's Secrets. I think like three years ago. So I guess that was nice that my, you know, I didn't fluctuate. So I know whatever bras I get, they'll, you know, I can use them for a while. So I ended up being a size 32 triple D. So a 32 is the way around. So that's like the strap goes all the way around. So it's like a 30, a 32, 34, 36, 38, I believe. Um, so I got 32 way around, which I felt like was kind of tight, but the salespeople kept assuring me that that's like what I needed, that if I went bigger, it would be too loose and it wouldn't be comfortable. So I, you know, took their advice because they work there and they see tits all day. Um, and then I got the, th the triple D cup size, which I don't think that I'm really a triple D. I actually think that I'm more of like a C in real life. However, Victoria's Secret sizes are different. So if you want to go to Victoria's Secrets, definitely ask one of the nice sales assistants to help you and measure you. They love measuring people. I think I had like four different people ask to measure me when I was there. I was like, no, it's cool. It's all right. So the first bra I got is this one that's kind of like a Kelly green. It's a very beautiful, rich color green. This is actually my mom's favorite color, which I know is so weird. I don't know why I'm getting like something, like an intimate thing, my mom's favorite color, but I just know my mom really likes this color. Uh, so I do because my mom likes it, I don't know. Um, and this originally was $62 and I got it for $20. So that's like a really good price. So even if I don't wear it that often, I only spent $20 on it. I don't know, just bras to me, they're very uncomfortable and I feel them like digging into me and they make me like wanna go crazy. So when I tried this on, I was very pleasantly surprised that it didn't hurt. This is what it looks like, if you guys wanna imagine. Um, it's very padded, there's padding underneath. There's actually not that much padding on top, but there's um, padding underneath and it does have a wire, which I also was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want a wire because every time I've had like a bra that has a wire, they hurt. But when I put this on, it made the girls salute to God. They were like saluting to Jesus. Um, they were, my boobs just looked like so high and like perky and awesome. And I kind of remembered that feeling. I was like, oh, this was like after I got my boob done, like after I got my breasts done, I like went to Victoria's Secrets and tried on bras and I remember them just being like so beautiful and I was like, oh my God, like I need every bra. That's kind of how I was. I went from like being a hippie who didn't wear bras to then going there and being like, this is why bras exist. I forgot. So I got this beautiful one, which I really love. And this is the very sexy push up. If you want to see the label and uh, the pricing information. Oh, wait. This was actually $36.99. This was not. $20. Wait, I think it was on a bin that said $20 or less. I don't know. That is another thing you always need to check on when you go to Victoria's Secrets. 
when they're having sales, you need to check, like, as you go through, I literally, like, watch them, and I was like, okay, that's on sale, right? That's on sale, right? That's on sale, right? Because when, even when I went through, there was, like, 10 different things I had that weren't on sale, that were full price, but they were in the sales section, so you always need to make sure you are, like, on top of them. So, the next, next thing I got was this, which is... I'm not saying the name of the bra but this one was originally $56 and I believe that I paid $20 for this again I think I paid $20 for all of the bras because they were in like the section that said $20 but I don't know uh once again this is in the 32 triple d and it goes around the back which kind of, I don't really normally like that because I feel like it makes like back fat and it makes like your back hurt and I just feel like it's too constricting but I actually like really did like this and it closes in the front which is always nice let me just do that for you guys oh my god i would be the worst man trying to get off someone's bra i'd be like that guy the girls talk about like he was trying to take off my bra and he did it wrong like that would be me i'm so bad at bras so this is what this one looks like and it's nude which you know is always good to have like a nude bra also a push-up bra and it was really comfortable so I'm thinking maybe I was washing my bras wrong because I kind of like realized that whenever I buy bras, they don't hurt really bad at first. Like they're kind of uncomfortable, you know, cause it's like something restraining your body. However, I think that I probably messed them up because I washed them wrong. So I'm gonna take very good care of these and not mess them up when I wash them. And I got actually that same one. Oh, and then in my size, so in the 32 triple D, there really wasn't that big of a selection for bras. So I got that one in another color and then I got one other bra, but those were really the only sizes that they had or the styles they had in that bin. So I was like, okay, you know, try them out. So this is the same thing as that last one. It's just in like a burgundy color, which is kind of like my lips right now. Girl, did I do that on purpose? The world will never know. So the next bra I got, this one was originally $42 and it is the perfect shape form bra and it is pretty, kind of looks like a hot. This could be a hot, yeah man. Uh, so yeah, I really liked this just because of the color. It's padded again. I definitely think that I will try to use them and try to use them for a few hours. I mean, when people go like all day to work and they wear bras, I'm like, how can you do that? Like, I go to a meeting in a bra, and by the time that I'm done with it, like, which is you know an hour, I'm like, oh, how do people deal with this? Excuse me. So yeah, bras, 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 bras on sale. So then I got a few pair of undies. So these ones have little polar bears, and what size am I? So I'm a size small in Victoria's Secrets on the pantaloon section. These are originally $8.50, and I believe that I got them for like $2, but these are just really cute, and they have little polar bears on them, which I just found to be so adorable. Um, and this is my favorite style of underwear for sleeping, so I love picking these little guys up. So I got those ones. And then I got these ones, which are kind of like Christmassy. Same style for sleepies. And then I got this pink one. Isn't it crazy that this is a size small in Victoria's Secrets? I feel like their sizing is like so strange. Uh, but yeah, because it's weird because the size medium, which I normally would say I would take like a size like medium and panties, are so big. Like their sizes are just very strange, okay. So small, and then, oh, so back to me being a hoarder, and anytime there's like a really good deal on something, I'm like, I'll get two of those, I'll get three of those. So they have these candles that are normally $30 for $5, and they smell like cashmere. They're so nice, like I absolutely love this candle. Let me give it a sniff for you guys. So it comes like this. Oh my god, like I can't believe I got this for five dollars. It just mm, can you smell that? Mmm. It smells literally like cashmere and vanilla. It smells so nice. And I got let's try the guessing game company I got. So 
So I got one, two, three. I got three because they're beautiful and they're just, they smell so great and they were five dollars. So I was like, hey, why not? And then I got, okay. So I absolutely in a million years did not need any more like makeup cases or travel cases or makeup organizers. However, these were such a good deal that I was like, well, I mean, if I don't use them, I could always give them away or I could sell them on Depop or I could do something with them because there was a good deal. So this is, you know, the very famous Victoria's Secrets, you know, like the white and the pink, which is very beautiful. But actually I almost got like two big kits of them for traveling, but they ended up not being on sale. They were like $60 each. So I was like, girl, nobody got time for that. I'm here for the sales semi-annual sale. So I got this because I figured I could put some brushes in it. It just seems like a very nice like brush bag. And then this, I also really did not need another one of these travel bags, but this was just so nice and big. And I love the color, like the color of it is just beautiful. And this was originally 28 and I got it for nine. And it's just very big and roomy. So I just figured I could put a lot of stuff in there with like traveling um, or even just like going, I mean, this wouldn't be, this is, you know, as big as a purse. I wouldn't be putting this in my purse, but you know, this is like, it's a good size travel bag. It's a good size bag to, you know, put stuff in. I don't know. Nine dollars. Can you see the quality on that? Nine dollars. I know. Amazing. You're shocked. I'm in shock too. Okay. So the very last thing I got, which was from Starbucks, which let me first tell you that I am not a huge coffee drinker. Like I definitely have been drinking more coffee in the past year than I feel like I have ever have before. So I saw on another YouTuber's video of like her favorites that she's started to get like the matcha, which is M O C no wait, it's M A C H A. I think it's ma matcha, not mocha, which I thought it was for originally, but it's matcha tea which is a like green powder but I did do some research and I found out that it's really not that healthy when you get it from Starbucks which is like big surprise uh but it still does taste really good so I got the matcha like matcha powder and then you mix it with water so I got that and then I was like you know just getting some stuff and look what I found pineapples can you see that it's so cute and the top looks like a pineapple top so I picked this up this was $17. I really like it. And you get 10 cents if you go and you use it each time. So yeah, I hope you guys liked my haul. Please like my video. Please subscribe. Please leave me comments. I love you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye.